Well, hey there, it's Jean, the homeschooling mentor here at Waldorf Inspired Learning. And I want to talk to you today about you and me, the Waldorf homeschooling mom. So do you ever feel like you're, um, you're, you've lost yourself on this homeschooling journey? Like you think about your children, you think about the lessons, well, how are you going to teach your eight-year-old math? And you know, and you think about what to make for dinner and you're thinking about everybody else's needs, but your own. Um, so do you ever feel like your needs get left out, right? Your own, um, uh, path of self-development time for any of that. I know for me, I felt like I just left myself out of the equation, right? For just far too long. Um, like my own needs for any kind of self-development just had to take a back seat for a while. And by a while, I mean for years. <laughs> so whenever I read about Steiner's concept of inner work, I loved the idea, but then I would just think, Ain't nobody got time for that. Like how? So um, then I found time, right? I became part of this women's circle and we really supported each other on this, this journey, right? Called the human journey. And, you know, now uh, after working with so many homeschooling moms, my observation is that almost all of us, when our children hit the teenage, the early teen years, like around 12 or 13, we go through this, um, awakening, right? And we often feel lost at sea because our children, we recognize that our children are setting sail, right? Toward this adulthood, toward becoming who they were born to be, right? But we have been in avoiding our own feelings, our own needs for so long, and maybe even stuffing our own feelings. So how ironic is it that we, what draws so many of us to Waldorf education and this approach is this, I, this holistic idea, right? This idea that we, we are educating the whole human being, which encompasses body, mind, and spirit, right? Thinking, feeling, and willing, taking action. And this wholeness, this sense of wholeness, really rings true for so many of us. It's what draws us here. Um, so then, is it just the reality that this applies to everybody but us? That doesn't quite seem right, does it? Because we ha have this wholeness. We are whole human beings, too. And so where are we in all of this, the homeschooling mom? or the homeschooling parent. And I think as parents, but especially as women, we tend to give and give and give, um, thinking that that's what we're supposed to do, right? That, um, that fo focusing on ourselves would be selfish, right? Wrong. <laughs> we're really all on a journey of self-discovery and self-fulfillment. We are on a journey right alongside of our children. Steiner actually talked about these phases, these seven year cycles of development. And it's not just like zero to seven, seven to 14, up to 21. It keeps going, right, as we age. So here's where this idea of, of inner work comes in. You might wonder, well, what the heck is inner work anyway? And I'd say that it's really a practice of becoming aware of our inner landscape, right? Our inner, our thoughts, our beliefs, and our feelings for the purposes of self-discovery, self-understanding, healing, and transformation. Um, I would say that it's this kind of personal growth that Steiner was talking about when he, um, he said, and here's a quote from him you might be familiar with, he said, you will not be good teachers if you focus only on what you do and not upon who you are. So the founder of this very method is telling us, right, that exploring who we are as humans, us, the adult, the homeschooling mom, is just as important, maybe even more important than the lessons themselves, than what we are teaching to our children. So really, inner work is about developing these personal practices that can support us on our own journeys of becoming human and, and, 
and becoming who we were born to be, really. So it's a process of striving to understand and transform ourselves. So why do we do inner work? What can inner work give us? Um, well, exploring our own thinking, our own feeling, our own actions can help us to, in so many different ways, it can help us to think more creatively, to be creative problem solvers, right? To take initiative, um, to be more flexible. This was a really big one for me. I needed to learn to be more flexible. I wanted to learn, I just didn't know how, but inner work has really gotten me there. And to help fo us foster authentic relationships with our children and all of our loved ones. All things worth striving for, I would say. So I know in my own life, um, inner work has helped me to heal from pain um, from my past. It has helped me to really create authentic uh, connections and friendships, relationships, to feel better as a homeschooling mom and really be feel better as a person. And I think while the number of possible practices for inner work are probably endless, right, and very personal, um, it's really not easy embarking on this journey. I think many of us put it off or are scared of it, right? And especially uh, doing it alone. Um, so if you're interested in joining me, right, as I create the space, I'm creating space for Waldorf homeschooling moms, any homeschooling moms really, to go on an inner work journey together. So we'll be gathering for 12 weeks and um, we'll meet for six live gatherings. And in between the live gatherings, we'll um, have some reflection time on the topics, the learnings, and we'll support each other to really look inward so that we can move past our limiting beliefs and live from a place of acceptance and a place of possibility. If you're interested, I'd love to have you join us and you can find all the details at waldorfinspiredlearning.com slash inner work journey. I'm so looking forward to this. Um, I feel like this is kind of a culmination of years and years of work for me. Um, if you sign up by February 25th, you can join us for a pre-journey gathering and we're going to be doing a really fun springtime ritual of uh, letting go of what no longer serves us and then setting an intention for our inner work. And this can be a very powerful practice. If you have any questions at all about the inner work journey, please, uh, you can put a comment below this message and I can send you a private message via Facebook or anywhere that you're watching this. Um, you could send an email to Jean at waldorfinspiredlearning.com and I'd love to have a conversation about whether this is right for you. So above all else, I really want you to remember that inner work is um, an integral part of Waldorf homeschooling. So I invite you to find practices that work for you that you can weave into your everyday life that will really help you shine a light on your inner world with compassion. Because my friend, you are worth it. So thanks so much for being here and until next time, bye for now.